Me a bay. Our first alert team is tracking large surf and north facing shores could see waves as high as 14 feet with a high surf advisory in effect through tomorrow morning. And the season starting to change here in Hawaii. We're already starting to see a glimpse of winter surf. Meteorologist Drew Davis breaks down why the surf direction changes as the temperatures drop. Do you feel it? The seasons are starting to change. Although it may not feel like it with the warm temperatures we've had recently, one environmental change may have brought autumn and winter to the forefront of your minds. North shores across the island chain were placed under a high surf advisory on Monday morning. The National Weather Service forecasted for wave heights up to 14 to 18 feet through Tuesday evening. South shore swells are on the way out as we creep closer to winter, and North shore residents are preparing for monstrous winter swells. But what causes this annual switch up between South Shore surf and the large mountains of water that buffet the North Shore annually? Like most things that change with the seasons, it comes down to temperature differences. We get into our Northern Hemisphere winter, the sun angle is mainly, you know, the strongest over the Southern Hemisphere. So then we can get these large temperature differences in the Northern Hemisphere that creates these uh, large mid-latitude cyclones. The difference in temperature between the Northern Pacific and Equatorial Pacific is one of the main reasons that spawn strong Northern Pacific storms. And meteorology speak, this is called a mid-latitude cyclone. And in, in the winter time, uh, we have this, uh, it's called the Aleutian Low. It's kind of a semi-permanent low pressure system that sets up near the Aleutian Islands. And that's what really sends us the Northwest Wells, um, the continuous Northwest Wells here in the winter. Let's visualize the low pressure systems. Air around a strong low like this rotates counterclockwise, pulling up warm air from the south to the east of the low center and pushing down cold air from the north to the west of the low center. The movement of this cold air is what's referred to as a cold front, and the air behind it moves in from the north and northwest, churning and adding energy to the ocean below it. This continuous movement of air is what pushes these large North Shore swells towards the Hawaiian Islands. And as we transition to the winter surf season, make sure to pay attention to all posted signage and ask the lifeguard if it's safe to head out. Drew Davis, Hawaii News Now.